a racing car driver can easily cope with fishtailing. An experienced one can also handle it. However, a common driver may not always drive out of a skid. Most often, it is a driver with little experience but too self-confident. And this is why. We all know how to pull out of a skid in theory and in practice. It all happens naturally. The wheels lose their grip, the front of the car slides to the side. We try to return the front of the car to the right position intuitively and steer to the right side, that is, to the side where we were going. It all goes well. Your hands do the job. You turn the steering wheel and the car to the right side. And at some point, the car does what is needed. The front of the vehicle starts turning to the right position. Everyone can handle this, even unexperienced drivers. But what happens then? Let's step back a little and talk about some obvious points. What do we do with the steering wheel during normal driving? If the vehicle runs off the course, we adjust the wheel. However, if the car goes in the right direction, right where we need to go, we don't turn the wheel. We just don't. Why would we? If we turn it, we would run off the course. The car is going in the right direction and we don't even think about turning the wheel. Now let's see what happens during a skid, in particular during its second phase. Right at this moment. We have already reacted and steered. The car gets back to the right position. It's going in the right direction and at this point we have no intention of changing anything, of steering. The vehicle seems to go in the right direction. But look at the wheels. The steering wheel is in this position and we think that the car is doing just right, that it has restored its position and we don't need to do anything. We think we don't need to turn the steering wheel. And here is the climax. The car is under control. We've driven out of the skid. We're happy. But look at the wheels. And further behavior of the car comes as a great surprise. It turns out that we should have set the wheels into the straight position before the vehicle got back on course. I'm going to say it again, before that, in advance. We're on slippery road and the car follows the wheels with a slight delay. The wheels are sliding and cannot react immediately. I mean, they do what you want them to, but belatedly. What if you happen to feel the right moment and straighten the wheels in the very second the car gets into the straight position? The car will continue skidding around because of momentum and you'll be going in the opposite direction anyway. It's inevitable. Turns out you have to straighten the wheel a second or more before the car gets back on course. I want to emphasize it one second or more. If your wheels are like this, you'll still be skidding, but to the other side and twice as vigorously. You think you'll be able to get control of the vehicle and turn it to the other side? You'll find yourself in the same situation, but with an even greater effect. You can do it over and over again until your car starts revolving. You won't like the consequences. Either your car gets off the road or it hits an oncoming vehicle. Let's fall back on the theme. New drivers tend to do the following. If the front of the car slides inward, they turn the wheel to the opposite direction. If the front of the car slides outward, the driver will turn the wheel to the left. 
The reaction time will be about 1-2 seconds. Reaction takes time. In case of race car drivers and experienced drivers, the reaction time is half a second to one second. A new driver needs two seconds. But experienced drivers know that when you run a skid, you need to react in advance. While new drivers follow a common scheme. If the front of the car is skidding inward, they steer to the right. If the car is skidding outward, they steer to the left. And they are always some seconds late. And the vehicle is fishtailing. And you need to control not only the position of the car on the road, but also the position of the steering wheel. It's critical to understand the position of the steering wheel when the wheels are straight. A friend of mine got into a skid on a wet, slippery surface. He was in front of me, and he managed to pull out of the skid. Then he was driving straight ahead for a few seconds and suddenly turned into a ditch. It's a miracle everything came off well. He was fine and the car didn't topple over. I asked him what had happened. He said he had lost control over the car. Probably the tie rod got loose. But when we had a look at it, it was fine. Everything was in place and functioning. It turned out that when he had driven out of the skid, he was moving almost straight, but he decided to adjust the wheel to make it straight. He thought he had to make almost a full turn of the steering wheel. He didn't keep in mind how many revolutions he made when he was trying to drive out of the skid. He lost control of the steering wheel. And a few seconds after he straightened the car, he made an extra turn. It was a wrong decision. He did manage to pull out of the skid and he was moving almost straight. One more situation when new drivers tend to make a gross mistake. The car is in a skid and the driver steers to the side to straighten the vehicle. He does the right thing. Almost everybody does it right. But what about now? The car gets back to the right position. The steering wheel seems to be straight. Will a new driver turn the wheel? Hell no! He thinks he's driving in the right direction. He's moving straight ahead. And the steering wheel is also straight. But what about the wheels? So here's the climax, and then… It's the most common mistake among unexperienced drivers. And here's what more experienced, but still not professional drivers tend to do. It's also wrong. They also cope with the first stage of the skid. Virtually any driver can do it. Look at the steering wheel. Let's rewind and count the revolutions of the steering wheel. The driver steers one revolution and a half to the lock. You can't turn the wheel anymore. So keep in mind that our advanced newbie made one turn and a half. The car seems to be out of the skid. And here's the most typical mistake. Did you see that? Our advanced newbie hasn't returned the wheel into the straight position. He only made half a turn, but he thinks his wheels are straight. Let's watch it again. The skid. One turn and a half. Everything's right. The car is out of the skid. He needs to straighten the wheels. But he makes a mistake. He only makes half a turn instead of one and a half. The steering wheel is in a straight position, but the wheels are not. And the car skids to the other side twice as vigorously. I believe that even if he manages to drive out of the skid, he's already lost control over the steering wheel. The driver cannot make the wheels straight, more so in the right moment. He's doomed. This is a common mistake among drivers with little experience but big self-confidence. And this is wrong. Try to put your car on metal discs. 
This training is very helpful. Turn your steering wheel to the right and the left, steer long and chaotically to this and that side, then stop. Set your steering wheel into a straight position and look at the wheels. Are they straight? The steering wheel has three points like this. And you can't always feel when the wheels are really straight. I'm not even talking about vehicles which have five points when the steering wheel is straight. This is the tricky part, controlling the steering wheel with your hands. How many revolutions did you make? Do the same to straighten the wheels. Now let's get back to our fishtailing. So, remember to straighten the steering wheel in advance before the car is straight. At this moment. And if you have a front-wheel drive car, you need to do it even earlier. At this moment. Almost at the beginning of the second phase. Just when the car starts straightening. Right at this moment. In other words, well before the car is straight. Your RPM should be high, but don't hit the gas for too long. Lower your RPM and keep pressing the gas pedal just a little. If you are driving a rear-wheel drive car, release the gas pedal at once at the first sign of a skid. 